Ladies, gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Kingfisher's YouTube channel once again. Don't forget to subscribe, like and press the bell icon for notifications of new and upcoming videos. Today I'm going to be talking about setting up a popping outfit or a spinning outfit. It's exactly the same, just the reels are a lot smaller. Um, popping outfit, basically what I recommend would be the Saltist MQ. You can however use the BG MQ, it's up to you. Um, both of them have got a 15 kilo drag, both of them are very strong, just more water tight. Okay, so it's ideal for my paddle ski when I'm paddle ski fishing. Okay, what we require to do this is fluorocarbon as a leader. Remember, fluorocarbon needs to be quite short, about a meter in length, because you're not going to wind it through your eyes. Very important that we use a FG or a PR knot. Again, it's a lot smaller, you can throw it. Um, Atex braid, guys. You do get four X's, um, an 8X, the reason we choose that is the 8X is a lot rounder. Um, it is a lot smoother going through your eyes, hence you will get more distance compared to a 4X that might be thinner for the same braking strain, but it is a lot rougher. 8X is the way to go, guys. Uh, it's, it's a no-brainer, it stays round. 8x is the way to go for popping or for spinning for that matter. I've chosen the uh, MQ Saltist 14,000. It is an absolute brilliant size, 600 grams, uh, 630 grams. It's light so you can pop with it the whole day and your arms aren't going to fall off. Um, it will take exactly 300 meters of 50 pound. Remember when it comes to filling the reel as well, not to overfill it. Okay, it needs to be full, but not overfill. Okay, knots, and that's why we're doing this, is to show you how to set out your own reel from scratch all the way through. Let's get on to it. Most reels that are designed for braid will have a rubber ring around it so if you have a look there there's a little rubber ring and that rubber ring is there to bite into or to hold the braid on so it does not twist on the spool the last thing you want to do is have your braid put on and it's too loosely wound on and you hook a fish and then the thing just keeps on spooling but you tightening and the braid is just coming off. It's because the bottom is not pulled tight. And that is why I'm showing you this today. Okay, so there it is there. We're gonna take our 8X 50 pound J braid. And to join it, all we're gonna use is a figure of eight. You can wrap it around your finger one, two, three times. Take the tag end back through the back and it will pull, there's your figure of eight. Lubricate. Remember to take it around your spool twice. Once, twice. Slide the knot down and around so it joins up with that uh, rubber band. Cut off the tag end, which I'm going to do here. And remember to pull tight. So now, <clears throat> if you can see it there, I can pull as hard as I want and it's not coming loose. Okay, very important that. Double it, crisscross it, it actually bites into itself, it holds itself together when you do that double loop around the actual spool. Okay, let's fill the reel. Okay guys, remember it's of utmost important that you place a lot of tension on your braid spool, so when it comes to winding your braid on, it doesn't cut into itself, very important. Um, you can have a friend wife, daughter, son, whatever it is, help you by using a stick. 
a bar and all you do is just apply pressure equally on both sides of the actual spool um, just so that there is resistance all the way through and you can wind it normally. We're lucky at Kingfisher we've got a line winding machine and it's a lot quicker than trying to sit there with two sticks and have somebody do it and help you with it. Okay so here we go. All I'm going to do, there we go and that's it. Okay, so there we go. 300 meters of 50 pound J braid filled perfectly on our uh, Saltist MQ14000. There we go, guys. Okay, now to show you how to connect your fluorocarbon leader to your uh, braid, we use a PR. Um, I'm just gonna quickly show you using a PR bobbin. We take our 50 pound braid and I recommend 50 pound. Um, it seems to be the best all round weight of braid to use here of Natal for our tuna um, and our bigger game fish that we do catch. So take a 50 pound, put the glasses on, <laughs> take a 50 pound and to tie it onto the PR all we do is go through the actual loop around the o-rings, pull tight, make sure you set your tension on the actual uh, PR bobbin, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten times around, we then take our FC um, 100 fluorocarbon, 70 pound, fluorocarbon is invisible in the water, um, and very abrasive resistant. Okay, all we're going to do here is just make a little loop and pull that tight. So there's a granny knot basically and we just slip your small finger, your medium finger, it doesn't make a difference. Just so you've got something to hold on to, to for the tension. I'm going to drop this onto the ground. There we go. I'm then going to take the PR bobbin, wrap it around two or three times, pull it tight, pull that tight, and there we go. And now all I'm going to do is just wrap it around <coughs> about that length, five, six centimeters, with a 50 pound J braid. There we go. Work our way back. There we go. So there it is there. I'm just going to put a bit of tension on the actual fluorocarbon. Okay, now what I'm going to do is a half edge. Take it around, over, through, bring it all the way down to the back and pull tight. Let go of everything. And just to make sure that the, the, the line actually seats properly in the bray, uh, in the fluorocarbon, give it a good pull. Make sure it stretches properly. There we go. And all we're going to do now is five or six half edges. So we go on the left hand side, one. On the right hand side, one. We just alternate, that's all we're doing. There's three. Four. 
five. So there we go, done it five times. And now we're gonna do a reverse risotto. And how we do that is just take the line, lay it over the actual monofilament or the fluorocarbon and the braid, and we wrap it around six times. One, two, three, four, five, six times. Take the, the braid next to the monofilament and you just give it a little bit of a, a pull to keep it nice. Then you take the, the braid and you wrap it around six times. So we unravel the risotto basically. Once, twice, three times, four times, five times, six times and you keep the knot close to one another so you can see how they, they lay over there all next to one another. Then we pull from underneath if you have a look there you'll see the braid going underneath so that's actually locking it in place and again pull it as hard as you can <coughs> cut it off as close as you want. I like to give a little bit of a tag in because I like to burn my my ends, take your monofilament or your fluorocarbon and cut it off as closely as you can. So you can see it's cut very, very close. <clears throat> that little bit there, all I do, wet the fingers, hold it next to it, take your lighter. You've got to be careful doing this. Unfortunately, it's very important that you, you know what you're doing when you do this. If you don't and you're unsure, rather cut it off close. There we go. So, have a look there. So that little knot part just secures it in place so it won't go underneath the remaining six loops. So it won't come undone, it doesn't come undone. And that's it there, it just gives it a little bit of added security to it. It's nice, it's small. Remember when it comes to popping and your leader, one meter is all you need. Um, the knot doesn't need to go through your guards. It's very important to remember, you don't have to, but if it does, it doesn't make a difference. It will go through easily. Um, there we go, guys. So there's the leader, I'm gonna make it about a meter in length. I'm just gonna quickly cut it. One meter. So there's your fluorocarbon, PR knot, and of course it'll go through your rod and attach to your rattler popper. Okay. If you do decide to do a spinning outfit, a lighter spinning outfit for snook, for instance, little bonnies and that. Obviously a smaller reel, a 6,000 size reel. Braid, 20 pound, 30 pound, it's up to you. And of course you'll be using a lot smaller spoons. Exactly the same setup, um, the way that you attach it with your knots and that. It's exactly the same. Obviously the reel is smaller, the braid is lighter, the spoons are smaller for bonnies and that. Okay. Um, the rod that I would recommend you actually pair that with would be the Poseidon popping uh, stick. Remember, when you're on a boat, you need a little bit of distance to get to those tuna that are busting. So a longer rod is required. So something along the seven foot six, eight foot size. This one here is our plugging rod and it is, I understand to be correct, it looks like seven foot. It's an eight foot. Okay, so there's our Poseidon 8 foot plugging rod. That would go onto this reel. I'll just show you what it looks like once it's put together. And there we go. Perfectly well balanced outfit for popping for tuna. Okay, so there we go guys. Go out there and enjoy it. Don't forget all the items you see here, all the products that you see here are available from leading tackle stores nationwide as well as our Kingfisher branches. Go out there, start popping, summer's here, the tuna are going to be busting. Enjoy guys!